Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Good morning and welcome to spending a day with me vlog. I try to get up most mornings at like 7 a.m. and then make my bed, do my skincare. And the first thing I try to do is a devotion. Um, I know obviously everybody has their different faith or views on things, but at least for me starting out in the morning and like settling my mind, if that makes sense, and doing something that's like thinking more than me as opposed to getting on my phone or just like rushing right into the day 100% of the time it sets me up for a better day so this is the devotional that I use it's called new morning mercies I'll have it linked in the description today is April 23rd so you would go to this right here and then it has a little quote and like something from the author of this book and then a Bible passage to read. So the quote for today is, as God's child, there's never a moment when you're not under God's care, never a time when you're not the object of his love. So I feel like that is really just a sweet thing to hear. And then I'm gonna finish reading this and read Psalms 8. in my office now and as you can see behind me we don't have closet doors yet I would say that our offices and like guest bedroom are the least done in the house because they're not like that main living area but I still do like to do my work in here so it's a work in progress I really enjoy writing out a to-do list in the morning I feel like my brain feels all over the place if I don't do that so I have a pretty busy day today tomorrow we're actually leaving for a wedding in Josh's family so not only do I have like my full schedule, but we have to probably do laundry and pack and stuff. So I'm gonna write that down and just like get everything. I think I have a meeting today. I have to shoot something for Lulu's and then shoot another ad that I'm doing. So yeah, it's kind of a little all over the place, but it's gonna be a good one. I got a lot of comments on the last time that I did like a day with me and people were like, go more into your work day or like, the day to day, but honestly, a lot of my work is on the computer. Obviously, social media is a newer thing, but at least like in my job and working with companies, a lot of that is the emailing back and forth, negotiations, setting things up and like behind the scenes. And then it flips over to a lot of the like creative stuff that I love, but I don't have management. So it's just Josh and I working on everything, which is a lot of fun, but sometimes can be overwhelming. So that's why I feel like I like to start my mornings early and do a lot of like computer stuff. Josh was at a men's group this morning, so he just got home now. Come here. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way That's so embarrassing Oh my gosh This is why you don't crack an egg with one hand But I want to photos in the morning so I just took some time to like look through what I wanted to post today and today it was a personality picture I did like this one of Greta and I and just some funny pictures I had in my camera roll um so yeah did that for a little bit and then now it's time I think to edit a video that I did yesterday but my butt is kind of hurting from sitting in this chair so 
time to move spots. We just finished up with lunch and normally for lunch we have whatever is leftovers from dinner the night before. Last night we made like a chicken penne pasta, so that's what we had. For this week's video, I was debating of doing a Q&A or just doing like a daily vlog like this. And I don't know, I just always seem to be gravitated towards the vlogs. But I figured that while I do my makeup for the day, we could do a little catch up. I feel like YouTube has gotten to be my favorite platform. I just love it so much. I think it's because you get to see kind of my full personality on here and it's not like clickbait things or short form videos. I love TikTok, but it's quick. So just to catch up, this year has been pretty crazy. We started the house hunting process last summer in like June or July. And the Tampa Bay area where we live is crazy right now. So many people are moving here and it is really difficult to find real estate as well as with the prices of everything. Oh, good catch, Natalie. So when we first checked in July, it was just everything was out of our price range and honestly not worth it. It was like you're paying so much, you get no yard, no pool, really small, really old, and we loved our apartment. So it seemed really hard to justify moving out of a place that we loved for a house that we really didn't like. However, when we got our rent renewal letter, they were raising our rent so much. And just the knowledge that we knew we wanted to be here long-term, it was like, we really need to take the house hunting even more serious. We had actually put an offer on another house and it didn't end up working out. We were trying to trust God in the whole process to just lead us to what we're supposed to do. And we ended up finding the house we're in now. We found it literally the morning it came on the market and put an offer in that night. We were one of, I think, seven offers. And so I was not hopeful that we were going to get the house, but the family here ended up loving the letter that we wrote about who we were. And so that was the start of a long process. They accepted our offer. We went through the inspection period. We ended up having to change the roof, get money off for things we had to fix in the pool. And then, I mean, you guys have kind of been along for some of those renovation projects that we've had to do. The week leading up to our house, Josh's parents spent the night with us every single night because we were staying at the house from 7 a.m. until like 10 p.m. every single day doing stuff. Now that that season is over and we're into the house, I'm so thankful for how things worked out. Getting to host my friends here was literally the highlight of my month. Something I quickly learned after getting married and having our own place is I love hosting. Anything that I can make into an event, I will. Like, I don't think anything brings me as much joy from like waking up and making breakfast for everybody and having coffees and all just having a space to hang out. And the pool, that was like something we didn't even expect to be able to have and I love it so much. So now life has calmed down a little bit. I feel like May is really busy. I have another one of my college best friends coming to stay in early May and we're celebrating my birthday. I think we're going to have like a boat day and then a little party at my house afterwards. So I'm so excited. I have a trip coming up the second week in May and I'm very excited for that. It's with one of my favorite brands and some of my favorite people. So that one is gonna be really exciting. And of course we'll have a vlog for that. I am pretty sure I still have freaking eyelash glue in my hair from the Taylor Swift concert putting the jewels in. I finished my makeup quicker than expected, so that was a little quick catch up. My scalp is peeling, I'm pretty sure. It, my scalp burns so easily, and that started after I got on birth control, my scalp and my lips burning. So I don't really know what that's about, like a hormonal thing, but it's really freaking annoying. But that is my makeup. I'll link all the products that I use in the description. I've been really trying to be on my non-toxic journey, baby steps, very baby steps, because I feel like as soon as you try to start doing anything like environmentally conscious or non-toxic or just anything, there's like 4 million different options. Um, so yeah, I am starting to try to find makeup that is that, but I can't convert all my things. The Thrive Cosmetics Mascara is like my favorite ever. And yeah, I can't give that up. So anyway, I will have those linked in the description, but this is kind of my like simple everyday glowy routine. And I feel like I've been loving it. I just texted in my selects to Grey Bandit. I've been loving like all of the new arrivals that they have. These are the ones that I'm getting. I wear Grey Banda all the time. I love their stuff so much. This skirt is something I've wanted for so long because I've been loving the cowboy boots with like the skirt and a long sleeve or just a little outfit like that. I think it's so cute. Time to put off procrastinating packing. 
So for the wedding that I'm going to, I am going to wear a dress that I got from Lulu's. I have two options. I may have three options, but this is the first one. It's like a blue mermaid with these little tie sleeves, really cute. Then I got this little blazer to go over it because it's in Virginia and I don't know, maybe it's gonna be a little chilly at night, it's April. And then I have this like black strapless dress. I'm normally not someone who gravitates towards black, but I just felt like this with the floral print is so pretty. Then I feel like I never branch out with heels, but I have these ones. I'm actually so excited to wear them. And I've walked around a little bit. They're high, but they're like comfortable. So these are what I'm wearing. They also weigh a decent amount. Then a clutch. This, I feel so classy. I'm like, I wanted to get a clutch, but it also has this little strap, so if I don't feel like clutching the little bag all night, then I have this, and I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be really cute. I'm not wearing this one to the wedding because it's short and it kind of gives like white-ish vibes. Not really, but anyway. It is so cute, it's like a short dress and then it has this big tie that you do in like a big bow in the back, and I think I'm gonna wear this to church next Sunday. I'm just really excited to wear it. So now let's get packing. I forgot that I did laundry, so now I have to put that away before I can pack. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys have not watched Daisy Jones and the Six, it was so good. I read the book and normally when I read the books of things, I'm like, yeah, you know, it's never gonna be as good as the book. It was literally incredible. Josh and I just finished it last night and not only did it do the book justice, but like the emotions that it captured, I was just in shock. I felt like it, it made me wanna cry. And I feel like I love when you're watching a show and it makes you feel all of these different emotions. So literally me watching it, I was like, this is so good. So if you haven't watched it, I think it's on Amazon Prime, but you need to watch it. Also, the books that I'm reading right now are called A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've heard a lot about them, but like never tried it out for myself. And it's interesting. They're like fantasy books, which I feel like, you know, maybe is not some people's vibe. But I feel like the writing is written really well and the storyline, like the first book, how it all tied together in the end, I was like, this is good. So I don't know. I think it has like seven books. These are so freaking wrinkled. And I think I shrunk them. Well, that's a problem for another time. But yeah, I think it has like seven books. So that's always fun when you find a series and it just keeps going. If you follow along for any of my packing videos, I love a bag but having little toiletries that I always leave in here and then when I go to travel the only thing I put in is like my daily moisturizer and a bronzy is so nice because then I can just grab and whether I'm going on like a sleepover or just on like a little trip or on a longer trip it's like all ready to go all the time so I love having this stocked and then if I run out of anything like toothpaste or whatever I just know to pick it up and keep the bag stocked. And then triangle packing cubes for anything that is like undergarments or swimsuits so I'll just put all of my underwear, bras, like socks, anything like that and keep it in one of these. I am attempting to fit everything for this trip in this backpack so we'll see how it goes. The coolest thing about this backpack is it unzips like a carry-on so that's gonna be so nice for packing. I don't have too many things but I have dresses for the wedding, wedding shoes, pajamas, all of this stuff here and then all the toiletries so I'm not feeling very hopeful. First up we need to pack everything into these two packing cubes so that I can just like slide it in the backpack. We have the base layer down, so both of the packing cubes, the toiletry bag, and my shoes. So now we need makeup bag, hair bag, my Dyson, which takes up so much room, and undergarments. It is all buckled up, let's see if it will zip. All right, the moment of truth. You're kidding. Packed, everything fit in there, that is crazy and those mega heels. Okay, I'm feeling very accomplished, but I just got a call from Josh that we are bringing pickleball stuff to play with the family, so we're gonna end up adding a bag anyway. Um, but I can't take away from myself that I did pack in a backpack if need be. Well, now that I'm feeling literally so accomplished, I'm going to treat myself with my favorite little afternoon drink, and now it's not a coffee. I feel like this sounds sponsored, but it's not. I'm just very stocked up. 
on my Trader Joe's coconut water. I feel like I'm in my healthy girl era and coconut water is so good for you. But my friend put me on with the Trader Joe's ones. It's like this pink color, but on the side it's coconuts that are from Thailand. And so then they turn like pink over time or something. I don't know, but it is the best coconut water I've ever tasted. I cannot trust that it doesn't have sugar in there, but it says it doesn't. Like I crave these every single day. If you're buying Trader Joe's, get some. Unless it's my Trader Joe's, because the last time I went, they were almost out. So don't steal my coconut water. I think Josh is out working on the pool. Let's check on him. How's it going? Owning a pool is tough. A little bit of rainwater, a little bit of sunscreen, a little too much fun, a little too much hosting. Green pool. Looks like you have a smudge on the camera. In the beginning of the vlog where you put this little thing of your... This looks like Woody. <laughs> when they're cleaning Woody's boot. Or no, his eyeball. His eyeball. I just hyped up the coconut water to the vlog and Josh is mildly allergic to coconuts, but I'm still making him try it. Just go in with an open mind. Why is it pink? You can read the side. Just sip it. He's dramatic. You're gonna say you don't like it. It's not bad. I got changed because I'm making dinner now and then we're going to a young adult thing at church tonight. But we're having our friends over for dinner and I'm making a Greek chicken bowl. So right now I have ground chicken in here and then I'm gonna cut up some onions and some different like spices, mix that all together and make like little meatballs. I've made this once before and it was so good. I feel like I've done a lot of my like eating this vlog but it really has, normally when I'm at the house it's just kind of like simple computer stuff, whatever I'm doing. So I wanna show more of that, of just what I'm doing in my day to day. But a lot of it is making food and computer work. We got ready for bed. I had a little shower and finished packing up all of the stuff. We head out tomorrow to be gone for the weekend. So I'm glad all the packing is done. I'm just gonna get in bed, get some good sleep. And then I think we're headed out at like 4 a.m. tomorrow. So that kind of sucks, but it'll be good. Thank you so much for joining along with my day with me and let me know any other videos that you want to see. I love you guys so much.